So, you've got a taste for adventure too, huh? I must say, the patrons have been in a bit of a buzz lately. Though the topic on everyone's lips is more of an urban legend than actual news. Even minding my own business, I still end up hearing all about it. Uh-oh. It's not one of those scary urban legends, is it? If so, Paimon needs to take a deep breath first. <laughs> it's not a particularly scary story, no. At least, not for most people. It's the tale of... The Dark Knight Hero. You weren't even listening. Anyway, the Dark Knight hero. It is said that he appears in the middle of the night to fight evil and uphold justice. But to be honest, I don't have much interest in such rumors. <laughs> Unless, of course, he can help take care of the more belligerent patrons after they've had a few too many. <laughs> I would happily take that as proof of his existence. I'm told that there have been a handful of sightings, but in the depths of night, no one can get a good look at him. <laughs> Perhaps that's why he only appears at night. Nevertheless, the sightings confirm that the Dark Knight hero is more than just a groundless rumor. <laughs> anyway, that's more or less everything I know. If you want to know more, ask around in the plaza. Oh, I need to serve some customers. Dark Knight Hero. Seems like your standard cookie-cutter urban legend. But just a little darker. Wonder who it could be. Once you're ready, let's head out to the plaza and ask around. In adventuring as in business. Come on, enough procrastinating. Let's go.
You want to find out about the Dark Knight hero? Look no further. It's me! I am the Dark Knight hero. <laughs> You're right, I'm not. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes aside, I do think that the Dark Knight hero and I have one thing in common. What's that? It's the way he sticks to his principles. Coming out here, night after night, fighting for justice, keeping Mondstadt safe. Wow, so you're a nocturnal vigilante too? <laughs> no. I just mean, he must be seriously rich. Why is that? People only start worrying about spiritual fulfillment once they have enough material wealth. It's the same in every hero story, isn't it? No, it's nothing like that. I just have too much time on my hands these days. Same difference. You are the boss of the cat's tail, after all. Why don't you ask the guards at the city gate? They do night shifts all the time. They must know something. You want to know about him? In fact, I'm one of the few who has seen him with my own two eyes. Great! This is the guy we need to talk to! So, just who is the Dark Knight hero? Whoa! Slow, slow down. Let me start from the beginning. Well, I was patrolling one night when suddenly I heard something. I rushed over to check it out. I saw a gang of suspicious-looking fellows who looked like they were up to no good. So I quickly hid. Hid? You're supposed to be a guard! That was when he appeared. He was dressed in black from head to toe, perfectly hidden in the night. The way he crept up on those bad guys must have felt like a living nightmare. Wow! Guess what I did next? I wasn't the bad guy, why would I need to run away? Still, I did leave the scene. I didn't want to be a nuisance to the Dark Knight hero. So instead, I headed to the Knights of Favonius' residence. Correct. I thought surely someone with such a strong sense of justice and who voluntarily protects Mondstadt is exactly the kind of person you'd find in the Knights of Favonius. <sighs> but it seems I was wrong. I checked everywhere, and there were no signs of anyone having left the building. So you're saying whoever it is can't be from the Knights of Avonius after all? Yes. <sighs> but I just can't understand. Why would someone like that not want to join the Knights? I'm sure they would warmly welcome someone of his abilities. So, the point you're trying to make is... You don't know who the Dark Knight hero is, either? Hey, don't be like that. At least by talking to me, you've ruled out a few more people. 
Anyway, try asking at the flower shop. I heard a girl there's been talking about the time he rescued her. What's wrong with- why can't I get him out of my mind? Uh, hello? We'd like to ask you about the Dark Knight hero. My hero? Oh, sorry. Just hearing his name gets me lost in thought. Hang on, how did you know who I was talking about? Is it that obvious? Oh no, what am I going to do if Master D. Luke ever finds out? Huh? What's D. Luke got to do with this? Uh, well, I guess I might as well spill the beans then. I used to think D. Luke was the one for me. But ever since the time I was rescued by the Dark Knight hero, I... I just don't know anymore. Wowee! You saw the Dark Knight hero? For real? What's he like? It all happened so fast. I was so scared. All I remember is seeing a flash of fire. But I felt safe. I only saw his silhouette, but it felt so... familiar. Who knows? Now that you mention it, a pyrovision does seem like a good explanation. It lit up the whole area in an instant. I remember that very well. Okay, then. Well, thanks for the intel, Donna. See you around. So, based on what we know so far, all we need to do is find a wealthy, vision-wielding vigilante who's not one of the knights. Hmm... Nope, still no idea. But we already asked so many people. Guess we gotta see for ourselves. Let's take a look around the city at night time. If we're lucky, we just might bump into him. After managing to steer clear of the guard's patrol route, I never anticipated I'd run into you instead. Dark Knight Hero? Sounds awfully derivative to me. Please tell me you didn't come up with that. How is this the first you've heard of the name? Every man and his dog in Mondstadt is yapping about the Dark Knight Hero! I do not concern myself with idle chatter. Though, I suppose I may take the idleness of others as a sign that peace prevails. Huzzah! The great mystery of the Dark Knight Hero of Mondstadt! We solved it! Now then, Mr. Dark Knight Hero! Please stop calling me that. Seriously, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Not surprised! It's the stupidest superhero name Paimon's ever heard! You should come up with something more original! 
like... Um... Captain... Pie... Pie? Captain Pyro! Tell us, Captain Pyro, what happened here today? <sighs> it was the Abyss Order. Them again? I don't know what the devil they're plotting this time. It seems they're performing some initial reconnaissance, considering that I've proven myself to be one step ahead of them on countless occasions. Their persistence is unusual. I assume so, unless you're aware of any other Dark Knight heroes around these parts. The Knights are, for the most part, an utterly incompetent bunch. I cannot trust them to take this matter over. That's not my point. I'm not doing this to impress anyone. Well, I hope this conversation has been of service to you. Because I would like to ask for a favor in return. Oh? What is it, Master Diluc? Your wish is our command! You must keep my identity a secret. Above all, it is crucial that you do not let the Knights of Favonius know I am connected to any of this. They appear to just be small-timers. You should have no trouble dealing with them. I cannot afford delays on account of a few lackeys. I shall have to let you take care of them. Remember, don't tell a soul. Hey! You're just gonna leave us like this? Yeah. Speed of light! <laughs> Settle down. <sighs> Greetings. I thought I heard something, so I came to check it out. Did you see anything out of the ordinary? Nope. Nah. -uh. Not here. Nothing. Silch. Unless you're looking for the Dark Knight hero, in which case... The Dark Knight hero? You saw him? Oh, uh, the Dark Knight hero is... uh, her! You! The hero who safeguards Mondstadt from the shadows! On behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I thank you for your service to this city. Uh, it's nothing. Really, you're too kind. Wait a second, aren't you the traveler that just arrived in the city? Rumors were circulating about the Dark Knight hero long before you ever arrived here. Oh... Uh... Why would you lie to me about that? Mm, never mind. You don't seem like bad folks. But I do hope you will visit the Knights of Favonia soon, where we can discuss the Dark Knight hero situation in more detail. You know, some things are best not discussed in public. <sighs> Duty calls. I must be going. Stay safe, traveler. Seems like Huffman has something he really wants to say to you about the Dark Knight hero. Better head over to the Knights of Avonius and see if you can find him. Huffman! Oh, it's you two. Thank you for coming. So, the Dark Knight hero, do you have anything else you're able to share with me? Ah, yes, of course I should fill you in first. Apologies for my appalling lapse of etiquette. The situation is... Here, take a look at this. Jeez, what horrible handwriting. Hmm, let me take a closer look. Huh? Some parts of this seem to be complete gibberish. Hmm, <sighs> indeed. 
Although this is written in the common tongue, it appears that a cipher has been used in many places. Nevertheless, one can grasp the general message from the non-ciphered portions alone. This is a war declaration from the Abyss Order to the Dark Knight Hero. Does that mean the bad guys want the Dark Knight Hero to go away forever and ever? <sighs> Something like that. Thus, we are hoping to contact him as soon as possible so that we can attempt to coordinate a response. After all, this matter no longer concerns merely the Dark Knight Hero himself. It impacts the entire city of Mondstadt. If you find out anything at all, come and find me. I take it you're about to inform me of the War Declaration from the Abyss Order. I'm aware of it. Though I appreciate you for taking the trouble to come all this way. What? The Don Winery's intelligence network extends beyond commercial matters. Great! So, what's the plan, Master Diluc? I'm open to suggestions. No. That would be playing right into the hands of the Abyss Order. They know full well that we don't exactly see eye to eye. They're using this as a means to force me into making an appearance. If my identity were exposed, all my future activities would be subject to some degree of interference from the Knights. After all, no powerful organization wishes to be outdone by someone from the outside. Ooh, the Abyss Order has really dealt you a tough hand this time. What a sneaky little bunch those guys are! There is a way. But for it to work, I need some more information. Specifically, I need to decipher the obscured portions of the Abyss Order's war declaration. Obscured portions? You mean the bits Paimon can't read? It must be a cipher only understood by members of the Abyss Order, used to spread messages within the organization. It's not simply a war declaration, but also a notification to their own. When you take a stand that makes you a hero to one party, you also become a villain to the other. And since I've been the Abyss Order's enemy for so long, they've made me the target around which they can rally their troops and unite their strength. Wow, seems like it takes a lot of brains to be a superhero, huh? I understand my enemy well, is all. As the saying goes, heroes and villains are two sides of the same coin. So what are we gonna do about the intel that's written in gibberish, then? How do we... un... gibberish... fi... it? Simple. When you don't understand something, you ask. I've already tracked down one of their strongholds. If you're interested, feel free to come along. This is the place. Abandoned ruins like these are precisely the kind of place the Abyss Order likes to camp out. Come on, there's no time to lose. You can't run! 
No knight of Favonius. Now start talking. Your plan, what is it? I see you received our letter. But if you think I'm going to let you in on our secrets, I'm afraid you're quite mistaken. <laughs> you appear to have misunderstood the situation you're in. <laughs> Did you just use a pyro vision to shoot fire from your hands? Ah, it burns! Let's see how long it takes for you to crack. Stop! Stop! Please! Pain! I beg you! May it stop! I'll talk. I'll talk. Ow, ow, ow! Please! Stop! I'll tell you everything. The... The disorder. We've amassed a force bound by a shared hatred for the 
They will march on the Mondstadt city gates at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. That's everything I know. Please, don't make me suffer those flames again. That's it? Well, I doubt you'd be foolish enough to keep anything else hidden. Now that I have the information I need, I must prepare. I would be grateful if you could keep me updated on how the Knights of Favonius respond to this matter. Yes, Master Diluc, sir! Anything you say, Master Diluc, sir! Why are you acting so strange all of a sudden? In... in light of what just went down here a moment ago... Master Diluc has officially reached number one on Paimon's people not to tick off under any circumstances list. We do not make contact with the Dark Knight hero soon. Hmm. Ah, it's you two. I must admit, this issue of the Dark Knight hero is proving to be something of a headache. We've just held a meeting to decide on an appropriate course of action. Can you guess what it is? No, that would send a signal that the Knights are in favor of the Dark Knight's hero's continued presence in our city, which we are not. Encouraging this kind of individual heroism undermines the knight's authority. Oh, well, what's the plan then? Find out the Dark Knight hero's true identity and offer him our protection. Protection? He seems to be doing just fine without your protection so far, you know. <sighs> well, since you've aided the knights in the past, I might as well just tell you. The offer of protection is just a ruse in order for the Knights of Favonius to take over full and exclusive responsibility for this matter. You aren't gonna let the Dark Knight hero be all heroic and stuff? Why not? Firstly, to show the might of the Knights of Favonius, to prove to the people that without the Dark Knight hero, they can still rely on the Knights to maintain peace and harmony. Secondly, the Abyss Order have no mercy in their hearts. If anything happened to the Dark Knight hero, it would only serve to further their nefarious ambitions. Gosh, Paima never knew the life of a knight involved so much untold anguish before. But none of this will work if we don't establish the Dark Knight hero's true identity in time. There's no need to despair, Huffman. Just follow my plan and everything will be fine. Ah, Captain Kaya. Lately, Master Diluc has been working the bar at the Angel's Share every night. All I need you to do is keep him in your sight. Think you can manage that for me? Uh, yes, Captain Kaya. But does that mean that Master Diluc is the Dark Knight hero? Who knows? It's just a hunch. I've been known to be wrong on occasion. Wow. Paimon feels we saw a whole new side of the Knights of Avonius today. But Paimon doesn't understand. How is Kaya so sure he knows who the Dark Knight hero is? We need to get to the winery and tell Master Diluc as soon as Paimonly possible. <laughs> 